Good evening everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous sessions, we discussed about waterfall, iterative, incremental and evolutionary process model with examples. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about prototyping model. Prototyping model is a type of evolutionary process model. Let's start the session. In today's session, we will discuss about introduction examples advantages and disadvantages of prototyping model. Let's see all these points one by one. Now, the first thing is what exactly prototyping model or prototype. The first we understand what exactly prototype. See, prototype is not a complete product or is not a complete model. Prototype is just a replica of your actual software. Means how your product look like in future. We can say that prototype is just a blueprint or toy implementation of your actual software and idea. So this prototype concept used in prototyping model. Prototyping model generally used when customer do not know the exact project requirement. Only that phase prototyping model have used. See here in this particular diagram, this is the structure of prototyping model. We understand this structure with example. Every software development life cycle start with the requirement gathering phase. Here, project head collect all the requirements from the customer. But here, customer do not know the exact project requirement. Suppose customer want online shopping website, but they do not know the exact function and features included in this online shopping website. So at this time, prototyping model have used. After the next phase is quick decision. Here project head, designer and developer team take a quick decision and to build a prototype. So they build a rough design, rough structure or we can say some storyboard, storytelling or some animated video or some rough module means how your product look like in future. So they build any kind of prototype here. For example, in online shopping website, the first form is like login and sign, sign up page. When user enter username and password, click on login button, next page is open and on that next page there is a like a gents wear, ladies wear, accessories, then uh, some jewelries, this kind of option is there. So this is just a rough prototype, not an actual implementation. Now developer team or designer team show this prototype to the customer. Customer evaluate those prototype and they want any changes, they show this particular changes to the developer team. Developer team again take a quick decision. They build a prototype as per the customer requirement or also added their own features in it. Okay. Again, customer evaluate the prototype. Again, if there are want customer any changes or suggestion, again, developer and uh, designer team do this particular changes and build the prototype. In this way, in this particular feature, they build a prototype. After completing a prototype or it is accepted by the customer, the remaining means actual implementation have started that is design to design the product then implementation means to do the coding by using programming languages after that testing tester test a particular product by using different testing methods and at the end deployment and maintenance this product deploy to the customers so this is called as prototyping model this prototyping done before actual development have started so we can say that it's also called as iterative trial and error method, which take place between developer and client. So this is called as prototyping model. Next. Now just see here, these are the some examples of actual and prototyping model. See here, in this particular image, this is an image of particular vehicle. So this is a prototype. This is a rough design and this is an actual model. See here, on the particular application in prototype, it shows just here is a particular image, here is a heading, then there is a username, there is a password, there is a button, there is a checkbox in this way. So this is a prototype. In actual implementation, they show the actual image, actual heading, here enter the username, on button there is a name login in this way. Here in this structure, see here, on this particular website, it shows the prototype. Means first there is a particular image, then there is these three images are there, and there is a information about these images in this way. But in actual website, they add actual image, actual information in it. Clear? So this is the difference between prototype 
and actual model next now advantages of prototyping model so in prototyping model uh, you need while developing a prototype there is a no need to detail input output and process okay prototype means just a replica of your actual model this prototyping model generally used when customer do not know the requirements proper requirements and requirements are continuously changing here customers are actively involved in development right because every prototype uh, customer feedbacks have taken then prototypes can be changed and even discarded suppose customer didn't like this prototype so they change their prototype or discard the prototype or uh, end up the project now here errors can be detected as much as earlier because while prototyping the errors can be detected and flexibility in designing designer design a particular product as per their own skills and also there is a lot of communication between designer developer customer or each and every stakeholders so it helps team member to communicate effectively these are the advantages of prototyping model now disadvantages of prototyping model here client involvement is more so sometimes it's not always considered by the developer okay there are lot of client involvements clients feedbacks have taken it is very slow process because it takes more time for development it done actual time only on prototyping not on actual development right and uh, suppose there are so many changes so many feedbacks from the customer so it disturb the complete rhythm of development team here documentation is poor because requirements are continuously changing and uh, it is very costly with respect to time and money here they use different prototyping tools and this prototyping tools are also expensive so these are the advantage disadvantages of prototyping model so this is all about prototyping model thank you keep learning